After the next piece of Quentin Covington's mysterious blueprint was destroyed by Quentin's son Q and his girlfriend Anada, Kevin realized there may still be an electronic copy of it on one of Quentin Covington's master servers. In search of the servers, Kevin and his team of Zara, Hiro, and Yuki ventured into a remote mountain forest. They knew they were close when Kevin could hear the servers humming underground. But then they were greeted by three monks who had taken vows of silence and only communicated through tapping sticks. Kevin finds out not all is as if appears when the oldest monk begins tapping out an SOS message to Kevin at dinner. Kevin stared at the old monk as he began to repeat the message he was tapping out against the edge of his supper bowl with a spoon. Help us. Please help us. You must help us. The old monk tapped out the message again and then stopped. The old monk looked around the room as if frightened. Kevin saw that the two huge monks who had been accompanying the old one when they'd met were glaring at him from a table not far away. All the monks in the remote monastery had taken vows of silence, so the dining hall was very quiet without any conversation or chatter. Even Kevin's team, Zara, Hiro, and Yuki, were quiet out of respect for their hosts. Kevin picked up his own spoon and tapped out a reply to the old monk in between sips of his soup. I will help you any way I can, Kevin tapped out with his spoon, but I must know what is going on here. What help do you need? But the big monks were staring harder than ever 